Hey everyone, welcome to Energize. This week we have a intervention, illegal maneuver, some lagging in processing, and some bad map data that inhibited FSD. So stick around and check out some of the fails this week. Again, we're in a 2025 Model Y long range running 13.2.8 with all the latest updates. We're coming to an intersection here and there's two lanes here. Both of them have stop and one's turn right, one's turns left. And FSD gets in the lane that turns right and then it turns left. So technically this is illegal, but FSD is a honey badger. It don't care. I know the haters will jump on this, but there's plenty of bad human drivers that would do the exact same thing. Here we're coming up to an intersection. FSD gets in the correct lane, but when it takes off, you'll see that it doesn't actually go into the lane that it should. It goes into a median. And this has happened a couple of times. I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, the line's barely visible. It's just not picking it up. This week I've been driving in chill mode and it's been hit or miss on if it does a good merge or not. This one here, I would say, is a bad merge. And obviously, I do this commute every day, and yeah, it's just kind of random if it if it does a good one or not. As you see in this one, there's a whole lot of traffic. Nobody's letting it in, and so yeah, it just kind of squeezes in, slows traffic down, and yeah, I mean, it works. It wasn't bad but it also wasn't good either. But sometimes it'll merge like a half mile before it needs to. It's kind of interesting. Here, I'm just backing out of the driveway. And as you can see, my camera is pretty dirty, but it, it can see well enough to go in, the, in reverse. Sometimes when the camera gets too dirty, it just doesn't go. It just says take over. But yeah, it did good backing out. The home link worked, shut the garage door like it normally does. I definitely really enjoyed the home link. Just automatically opens and shuts your garage door. You know, it's a little hesitant backing up because of the camera is not very clear. And so it has a hard time seeing what's going on. But it, but it still works. And then on this day, I was surprised, you know, we got more snow. Um, you know, I think overall in the week we got four inches. It wasn't bad, but FSD kind of went way around the tracks there. I must have thought it was, I don't know, logs or who knows what the heck it was interpreting it as. But yeah, it went around that. And then last time we had a snow, it had an issue with these two tracks here. It thought it was something, but on this day, it just kind of went right over it. So it's really interesting how... Sometimes it interprets things as a danger and sometimes it doesn't. Here's the location where the map data is apparently not clear because FSD gets confused. As you can see the road wise, it didn't know which way to go and it actually chose the wrong way. And just went up to the fence and stopped and didn't know what to do. Let it sit there for a while, but it didn't go in reverse and so I just took over. And so this is one thing FSD is going to have an issue with is getting good map data. At least for Alaska, this is an issue. But yeah, can you imagine sitting in a cyber cab and getting stuck in front of a gate and can't really do anything? Here I'm coming up on a driveway and FSD has had issues with this off and on. This version has been better than other ones, but still like this one, I just kind of didn't know where to go. You can see clearly on the map, it recognized the driveway and it's on map data from Google, as you can see right there, but it doesn't complete the circle and go into the driveway. All right, so it's to take over. And here is one of the successful times where it got into the driveway, but then it ran into other issues. I think if it did have a bumper camera, that these issues would be resolved because it would have more stereoscopic vision. But as you can see, there's nothing here. Well, there's snow, but there's nothing dangerous here, but it slows down and processes the video. I'm, I'm not sure if it's reviewing video that it took or why it's taken so long, but yeah, it thinks about it for a second, says that there's an object, and then it proceeds to drive over it. Hopefully I can retrofit the vehicle to get a front bumper camera. I know I 
one of the updates it did do the in cabin radar which i didn't know i had until the update yeah so i got all excited for the update and it just turned out to be minor fixes here on the screen you can see that the garage door opener comes up on the screen it says that it has a countdown for when it's going to open and then it just automatically opens the garage door it's a pretty cool feature well guys that's all i have for this week there was about 300 miles of driving uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe, and I will send out another video next week, and maybe we'll have some better interventions.